I don't have much experience this side of the, of the planet to be able to appreciate that in all its entire, entirety. So it's refreshing to be reminded that, oh, yeah. If, if not all other sets are like this, then this is a pretty incredible. How long have you and your people been in Greendale? Generations. We're from the old country. The very old country, the old, old country. You're a soup. Or I'm just a very good magician. But soup sounds sexier, let's go with that one. Chance Perdomo, who starred on Gen V and Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, has died. He was 27 years old. A rep for the late actor confirmed the news to E.T., revealing Chance died after a motorcycle accident, but no word on where it happened. His rep adding, Chance's passion for the arts and insatiable appetite for life was felt by all who knew him, and his warmth will carry on in those who he loved dearest. I was coming up with your superhero name, you wanna hear it? Bloody Marie. That's terrible. Yeah, it is. <laughs> E.T.'s also learned that production for season two of Gen V, Amazon Prime's superhero spin-off of The Boys, has been pushed in the wake of Chance's untimely death. Meanwhile, Amazon MGM Studios and Sony Pictures Television released a statement sharing how devastated they are by the sudden loss and extend their heartfelt thoughts and support to Chance's family. And I'm proud of you. I love you, man. Love you. In a separate statement, the producers of Gen V admit they can't quite wrap their heads around this, saying, For those of us who knew him and worked with him, Chance was always charming and smiling, an enthusiastic force of nature, an incredibly talented performer, and more than anything else, just a very kind, lovely person. Adding, even writing about him in the past tense doesn't make sense. This isn't like you, cousin, using witchcraft to settle personal vendettas. These are desperate times, Ambrose. Prior to Gen V, Chance starred as Ambrose Spellman on Netflix's Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. And what time will we be spellcasting? Midnight-ish? Witching hour? Hmm, spooky. The series running 36 episodes across two seasons. It's all right to, to be a little nervous. Going into the woods, signing your name in the Dark Lord's book. Even I had butterflies. After two seasons, four parts, I am desensitized to the horror and gore and the darkness. Although, I still won't walk through a sigil and, and glyphs uh, on the floor unless the candles are, are blown out. E.T. was with Chance many times after the show's debut, the actor sharing how grateful he was to be a part of it. I don't even have words, really. It's The more I think about it, the more like overwhelmed I get. So my hands are in my pockets. I'm trying not to be jittery, but like, yo, it's, it is a blessing, a dream come true. And I don't have words, but just wow. It's very much a family, family type set. Like, you know, um, they're like a home away from home. We've all been like each other's shoulders to cry on and soldiers to rely on. It's been crazy. It's been nothing but love. Yeah, it's been amazing. And then the house to, yeah. <laughs> there are other shows and, and, and jobs in the industry that might not be so savory or might not feel so close and connected and close-knit, but the, you know, the cast and crew do feel more close than you might get otherwise. 